Hey folks, welcome to John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. We're down to the last few hours of the week. We need to catch some fish today to get a show. Fleet Farm presents John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Fleet Farm, the ultimate fishing headquarters. Just a big, beautiful fish. Oh, is that awesome. Holy, Holy moly! Oh my God! It's a huge fish! It's a huge fish! This is amazing! Who do you got? Oh my awesome. gosh! You know, folks, I'm with my buddy Brett Jolly on St. Patrick's Day. And you know, when I do seminars, you know, around the Midwest, one of the questions that people ask me, what happens if you don't catch fish? Since we do a news show every week and have never missed a week in 30 years, what does happen? We go fishing the next day. Well, let's explain what happened yesterday. Yeah. You know, we were driving down the road and there was a fresh snowfall up in the Stevens Point area and we got on the Wisconsin River, but before we got on the river, we had a flat tire. Flat tire, yeah. Cold front, flat tire, not a great start to the morning. No, and that flat tire cost us about an hour of fishing time. Oh, yeah. We got that fixed, got out on the Wisconsin River, and, and we caught a lot of fish, but they were eight inches long. They were pretty small, yeah. And that's that's March, though, right? You know, it, it can be. Um, we can have some great days in March. The week before, when it was warm, Matt and I were catching all kinds of fish. But, you know, cold front, it, it is what it is. You know, we did our best, but just a bunch of little ones. Well, today is Wednesday. Our show has to be edited and out by tomorrow night, Thursday sure. night. So what we did was we drove over from your place in Stevens Point to Green Bay, and we're going to fish the Fox River. Uh, this is something you and I have done for... 20, 25 years, time, yeah. and, and it's a fun deal for walleyes. It is, you know, you can catch a lot of fish. You know, you, early in the spring, it's just nice to get a, be in a boat and catch fish. And we have, always have a shot at a big one here in the Fox, but lots of nice numbers of, you know, 17 to 20 inch fish. Save my show, I do not want to air a repeat. <laughs> We'll, we'll get it done. All right, hey folks, we'll show what we're using and how we're using it, all of that coming up right after this. Big news, Coffee Talk is coming back on March 27th and is now brought to you by Amsoil. You can catch Coffee Talk every Saturday morning at 9.30 on the Amsoil or John Gillespie Facebook page. Time to get out and play. Amsoil delivers the ultimate protection for your vehicles and equipment. Fast, free shipping right to your door. Just look up your vehicle, Select your product, add an oil change to your cart, and check out. Spend $100 and shipping is on us. Order now at amsoil.com. Hey Mike, is this it? Hi Blake, welcome to Kettle Marine. This is a new Capia and Rage. Same boat you'll be fishing from this season. We added a few more options to the one we built on the Campia website, but it's so great to finally see it in person. There is a lot of buzz around this boat. The Rage is a perfect multi-species fishing boat. It's loaded with standard features for any serious angler. The warm weather can't get here soon enough, and Pete should be here soon too. He's gonna love it. Check out the new Campion Rage at Open Water Marine in Mandan, North Dakota. Oh, oh. nice bass. <laughs> I'm pulling. Let's pull that yeah. up. There you go. You've proven that that will call fish in. Yeah, there's no no. Oh, oh my oh. gosh. Oh, oh look oh, at man. that. Hey, welcome back, folks. I'd like to wish everybody a happy St. Patrick's Day. We're on the Fox River in De Pere, Wisconsin. And Brett Jolly, we need to get a show. It's got to get done today. We're after walleyes and the spring run here. And I'm going to start out with a blade bait, a V-rod. And I really like to cast this bait, rip it, let it drop, rip it, let it drop. And you'll start out with a jig and minnow. Yeah, you know, especially in the mornings when the water's still a little cool, just a eighth ounce Kalen's jig and a fathead is really all you need. And just work it really, really slow. These bites are coming pretty light. And you like to use as light a jig as possible to yes. keep bottom contact. Yep, there's not a lot of current today, so an eighth ounce is perfect. Uh, if it starts picking up, um, then I'll go to a quarter maybe. 
And what did that take you? Uh, not very long. Two minutes? I just dropped Two the jigging minnow down off the side here. Uh, okay, you're gonna, oh, what do oh, we got here? Oh, that's about a 16 inch or now so. Now look at the coloring on that fish. Yeah, that's a pretty fish. Isn't that kind of unusual looking color? Yeah, you know, we're getting a lot of different fish coming in the river right now, so they're, they're, they're gonna still have some of the darker colors from out in the bay, right. but then they get kind of pale once they're up in here. So Beautiful we'll, we'll get different color today. Now again, tell the folks, this is a trophy limit deal only. Yeah, this time of year, you can only keep one over 28 here in the Fox, but this one in a couple more months is gonna taste real good when we catch it out in the bay. <laughs> is that a good one? Yeah, he's pretty decent. I'm actually gonna grab the net here. Okay, good job, Jolly. And that's the jigging minnow that you talked about yep. a minute ago, right? Yep, you know, early in the year when the water's cold, especially early in the morning like this, uh, just an eighth ounce jig and a minnow is great out here on and the And you're working real slow. Really slow, yeah, real slow. That's that normal gold walleye right there. Now is that is that a uh, male? That's a, yeah, that's a good sized male. And yep. you got a shot at a big fish. Oh yeah, I mean there's there's 30 inch walleyes in here. It's a little bit early for the peak of the big females, but uh, lots of fish like this. Nicely done. Well, Jolly, we got a little bit of precipitation falling now. I don't know if this is snow, rain, or whatever, but uh, you know that can have an effect on the fishing. But the water clarity in the Fox River right now is pretty clear. So you like the cloud cover, right, for this uh, this type of fishing? Yeah, when the water's clear, a little bit of clouds in the sky definitely helps. Um, when the water's a little dirty, I, I really like sunny days here. It warms the water up and the fish get a little more active, but the clouds are going to help us with this clear water for sure. Was that a little more aggressive? No, it was another pretty light bite. It's actually a pretty nice fish. Ooh, you need the net? You got him. Good got job, him. Jolly. Ooh, but no, like... I, I have, oh my gosh, that's a beautiful walleye yeah, bread, it's Jolly. Smaller female. Nicely done, buddy. Now, I, you can just tell by the width on the yeah, female you know, male deal. Big fat belly. Yeah. Um, the females are going to have fat bellies and the males are kind of skinny. Boy, that's a beauty. Yeah. But you know, you are one of the better live bait fishermen I fish with sure. and you are really good at it and and it's so slow it's it, it's extremely subtle when the water temp is cold like this uh, you got to really be moving it slow and these bites I mean this is a good sized fish you barely even feel it they're just picking it up and hanging on and then how long do you before you set the hook you know you got to kind of let the fish tell you what I've been doing is just kind of gently dropping it down and letting them have it uh oh you are mr. automatic was <laughs> that the next cast? That was the very next cast after that last one. I just hit spot lock on the Minn Kota and pitched her out and a little male. So you can flip him in, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. Yep. But you know, that's one thing too, that the spot lock on the Minn Kota over the years has made so many guys better fishermen. Absolutely. Because you're fishing a river like this, um, you know, you're not, it's not a distinct depth or structure, but the fish are schooled up. So when you get one, hit the spot lock. Hit the spot lock, stay right there. You don't have to take the time to drop an anchor. You know, when you feel like moving on, you just hit the button and away you go. Now, was that a subtle hit too? That was pretty light, yeah. Yeah. Breaking news from Fleet Farm, check out this deal, the Rapala Deep Husky Jerks on sale, two for $11. On sale, two for $11. Well, listening to you, man, that bite is so light, folks. I don't need the net, y'all. Here he is. But um, that bite is so light, folks. And um, I've got a medium action rod because I thought I'd be fishing plastics, Brett. Mm -hmm. you, you actually should have a medium fast, I think, for this, you know. But this is that new, what is this thing called? This jig? Pendu jig. The pendu jig. And what you do, you put your minnow on there, folks, and that hook goes up and down. And what's really cool about that is it gives the bait a little bit extra action in the water. So it's called a Pen, pen do jig? Pen do. Folks, we talked before about uh, how slow we're moving that bait. Maybe, Brett, you can show the retrieve, but it's, it's really slow. Yeah, John, I'm just basically just slowly raising my rod tip, reeling down the slack, and just really, really slowly moving my rod. And that the bite is so light, you just feel a little bit of dead weight there. And it seems like if you give them too long, they drop it. So you just feel that bite, drop it down, reel up the slack and give it to them. 
Yeah, yeah. Yep. Ooh. Now, a good idea to spot lock here, though, Joe. Yeah. Yep. You know? Well, yeah, once you find a pot of fish, you want to work them, work them over. And before we even fished, I noticed that you went up and down the river uh, using your side imaging. Yep, I was looking for schools of fish, and they were pretty much all over the place. But yeah, there's. I kind of stopped in an area where there was a lot of fish concentrated. Ah, <laughs> Jallo! There we go. Ooh, there, now that's a nice size male. And I, one thing I want to mention, folks, our buddy Brett Jolly guides on the bay a lot more than he does the river here. And uh, it was so much fun last summer when you and I were out with your son Nash and we caught just tons of like 13, 14 inch walleyes. Now those fish will be legal this year and you're expecting a great fishery on the bay this summer? Yeah, this year should be phenomenal. Last year we just caught tons and tons and tons of those 13, 14 inches. I mean, I had days where I caught probably a hundred and uh, it's it's just gonna get better and better and we're gonna have limits of, oh, just missed one. We're gonna have limits of 15 inch fish just about every day this year. And and you can keep five a day yeah. after opening day? After the opener, May 1st this year, you can keep five fish over 15 inches. And you guide there every day? Every day. Ooh, oh, that was a good hook set too. Yeah. A little bit better fish? Yeah, maybe a little. Yeah, no, that's a nice male. If that's a male, that's yeah. a nice fish. Oh, yeah. But Jal, uh, today, as I mentioned uh, at the top of the program, is March the 17th. Yep. And we're just at the beginning of this. The big females oh, yeah. will be rolling in soon. Pretty quick, yeah, I mean, the water temp's got to come up a little bit, and those big females will start showing up. Um, guys will start getting them at night, trolling or casting up in the rocks. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this is pretty typical this time of year. It's early, we're gonna catch a lot of males. Well, what we gotta do, do is go pick up our buddy, Matt. Yep, he should be there pretty quick. You know, with the rain and the snow today, we're not gonna grill on the boat, right. but we're still gonna have Johnsonville's and Blake, made this for you last Ooh. night. This is really, really good. Johnsonville sausage strips. They come in maple, regular, chorizo, and spicy. Well, she fried up some of the regular. Okay. And then she got some chicken and put that on, some lettuce and tomato, and some mayo. And that's what she calls a Johnsonville sausage strip clubhouse sandwich. All right. Mm. That's good. Isn't that good? And Johnsonville yeah. sausage strips, man, they're good with everything. Put some on a burger, put some with your eggs in the morning, much better than bacon. <laughs> Sounds like it. Yeah, no, this is really good. Thanks, Blake. The skies we were fishing the Fox River in Green Bay, a two-hour drive from Milwaukee, three hours from Chicago, and four hours from Minneapolis. Yamaha is giving away a brand new Grizzly XTR, and you have a chance to win. That's right, Blake. The Grizzly XTR is the best performing ATV in its class with superior capability, all day comfort, and legendary durability. The Grizzly boasts a powerful 700cc engine and features on command four wheel drive and power steering. To enter is simple. Just go to GillespieFishing.com or visit your participating Yamaha dealer. Eagle Claw is the only hook made right here in the USA, and they also make this new EC 2.5 bait casting combo. This combo is fast action, lightweight, and is built to stand up to long-term use. You can't choose the weather, but you can choose to dress for it. Introducing Blackfish Performance Rain Gear. Utilizing patented Event technology, this advanced membrane allows body heat and vapors to escape while offering 100% waterproof protection. With an exceptional combination of waterproof and breathability ratings, Blackfish Rain Gear keeps you dry all day. Whether on the tournament trail or chasing weekend walleyes, choose Blackfish because you can't choose the weather. Hey, Blake, we're heading out on Green Bay tomorrow and the weatherman said it's supposed to be really, really rough. Just to be safe, I want to put in a higher capacity Johnson bilge pump. Dad, you don't need all those tools to change a Johnson bilge pump. All you need is a higher capacity Johnson cartridge motor. It's that simple. Hey Blake, that is really cool. I guess I won't need these. Johnson cartridge bilge pumps. The highest capacity, the easiest to maintain, and the easiest to install. Johnson Pump, our choice for safety and reliability. Folks, you can now watch our show on Roku. Just search 
KOTV on the Roku Channel Store, and there's a bunch of other great outdoor programs that you can watch too. You know, Matt's waiting for us on shore, and you just keep catching <laughs> oh, I'm walleyes. I'm busy catching dude. walleyes. You know? It's another nice 16, 17 incher. Now, it's, it's, the water, the air temperature is about, I guess, 33 degrees, and the yeah. water temp's about 37.8. So, when you start getting more fish on artificials, what water temp are you looking for? Usually, like, 38 39 is kind of the the border where it goes to more artificials yeah um once we hit 40 i pretty much only use plastics okay there you are yeah well our buddy matt has arrived what did you do matt bring this snow with you buddy i did yeah well we've been catching walleyes buddy and and everything's been on live bait so far well i'm ready to get after it here so Ooh, jolly this one looks pretty good buddy nice this one looks pretty good Give buddy I Ooh, don't that's a, pretty that's nice, a nice walleye. One. Yeah, let's Let, get him up net. here. There we go. There we go. In the there, there we go. go. Hey, folks, that was on that. What's that thing called again? That pendulum deal? The pendu jig. The pendu jig. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so what that does is we showed before that that hook swivels back and forth. Right. Gives your bait a little more action. A little more action. And what I uh, yeah, let me grab Look this at that wallet. chunker. Now this is a fatty. <laughs> Isn't that? That's a chubby little female. Yeah, that is a fatty, but look at the weight on that yeah. thing. Isn't that impressive? It's full eggs. But again, that so that jig is called a, a pendu jig. Pendu jig, and it just gives your live bait a little bit more action. Yep, live bait or plastic. Yeah, that, isn't that a nice fish? Two in a row for me there, nice. Joel. Looks like another decent yeah. fish. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is fun, buddy. This really is. Yeah, it's that light minnow bite. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, that's a beauty there, Joel. Hey, yeah. That is a nice walleye there. Let me grab them. One thing I want to mention here, folks, is these uh, these clam dry skin gloves that I wear are so nice for this time of oh, the yeah. year. They're completely waterproof, and you can grab a fish like that. But take that pendulum jig out. I want to show you what I'm doing. Uh, I left a piece of rubber on there just because we got smaller fatheads yep. to give it a little bit bigger profile. Yeah, that's, that's a trick I've been using for a long time, too. It gives you a little bit of bulk. Um, it's just a it's a great way to do it how does that swing back and forth yeah and that just gives that minnow like i said a little, a little bit, bit more action, action. That, isn't that a pretty walleye there pal beautiful yeah what is that about 23 24 inches yeah, right around there yeah Chunk, chunky little female <laughs> what's it called again the Fun? pendu pendu jig that's like three cats in a row on the old <laughs> pendu <laughs> now here here's a smaller male there folks but i'm wondering if uh, putting that just that piece of caitlin's grub on there it, it just it's it's a bigger profile is that what you think yeah a little more bulk and a little more color brett jolly is one of the guys i know that really relies on the hummingbird mega side imaging and before you even start fishing as we talked earlier in the show you go up and down and look for the fish and I yeah. can see you can see some there's a couple right there yeah you know you, you can go through and scan the key is to set your chart speed to your ground speed so if I'm going three miles an hour I set my chart speed at three miles at three okay that way I'm getting the best picture quality I can get and I can really pick up those those walleyes and, and I keep it zoomed in usually about 55 60 feet out rather than the full 150 and it's it's actually pretty easy to find those I fish. mean look at them you can yeah. see those walleyes right now and those right little black dots are the walleyes those are the walleyes yeah you can see that brighter streak right and that's that's the sonar hitting the the object and then the black dot that you're seeing is actually the shadow of the fish hey in the snow jolly <laughs> i love it there you go buddy yeah just another male that's still an awful lot of fun and, oh, and you know you. that's the neat thing about you know the state of wisconsin opening this up to catch and release so guys can look out and have fun and not hurt the walleye population. Exactly. You know, you come out here, have a lot of fun, catch a bunch of fish, um, and, you're, and you're not taking them while they're spawning. So we let them go, let them do their thing, and we'll we'll catch them in the summer and eat a bunch just and, like this and one. Yeah, and, 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 and if you do happen to catch that 33, 34-inch trophy, you can keep it and get them out of it. You could, or you can get a replica. Fishing in the snow, fishing in the snow. It is interesting. Interesting though how these males are all together and, and uh, I wonder if that's the deal if they just all travel the males together or not but uh, the pendu jig's red hot but I'm thinking though again that that piece of plastic on there is helping the fish uh, see the bait. 
It's now time to announce this week's winners of the Fleet Farm, John Gillespie's Waters and Woods 2021 Fishing Contest. This week's first winner is Jimmy Gregory of Kenosha, Wisconsin, caught this 23-inch bass on Paddock Lake using a roach. Wade Handelin of Colgate, Wisconsin, caught this 11-inch bluegill on Beaver Lake using a waxworm. Jim Sarix of West Bend, Wisconsin, caught this 13-and-a-half-inch crappie on Smith Lake using a waxworm. Samantha Rundle of Racine, Wisconsin, caught this 42-inch northern pike on Eagle Lake using a minnow. And this week's first kid winner is Nicholas Vay of Oshkosh, Wisconsin, caught this 60-inch sturgeon on Lake Butamore using a tip-up. And McKenna Weedman of Howard's Grove, Wisconsin, caught this 41-and-a-half-inch muskie on Found Lake using a golden shiner. Each week, I shop online at FleetFarm.com to check out the latest deals. Check out what I found this week. Save $30 on the Frog Togs Amphib Neoprene Waders on sale for $99.99. And save 33% on the Northland Rippin' Minnows on sale two for $8. The St. Germain Fishing with the Stars is set for May 15th. There's lots of great prizes, including a chance to be on TV with Rob Manthai, Pete Mayna, myself, and my dad, John Gillespie. Go to st-germain.com and click on events to learn more. If you want to know how the best anglers always seem to find fish, stay on fish, and be in the right place at the right time, don't ask them. Just look at the name on the side of their boat. The one that's built 10 million motors, shallow water anchors, and more. No angler's going to tell you their secrets, but they don't have to, because you already know. Minn Kota, fish for more. Kalen's Pendu Jig features a patented free swinging hook. This feature gives any soft plastic or live bait an added action no fish has ever seen. As you jig it, swim it, the free swinging hook moves up and down, giving your bait or lure an unpredictable action. This jig also makes your live bait or plastic stand up when you pause it, imitating a feeding bait fish on the bottom that entices more bites. The Pendu Jig comes alive. Kalen's Pendu Jig is available in four sizes and 12 colors. Well, the snow has slowed down. Now it's just kind of drizzling, John, yeah. and uh, the fish are starting to bite again, huh? They're starting. This one, I was just barely moving that jig. Really a light, light biting fish. Okay. A nice chunky oh, that's a nice male. male right there, yeah. Joe. But it is interesting, you know, during that real heavy snow, our bite slowed down, there's no doubt. It, it definitely did. Um, you know, it, it was really, really slow, and this this was still another light biting fish, but hey, nice, one, nice one. One thing I should mention too, for folks that don't know, the walleye spawn around 42 degrees, is that right? That's, that's pretty typical, yep. And then the post-spawn bite, which is usually later in late April, is pretty good, huh? Oh yeah, post-spawn's awesome. I mean, it, the fish are really hungry, and they're still big, they're a little skinnier, but they're still pretty big. Hey, look at that. Matt's got one on, on the front of the boat there. All right. It feel pretty good, Matt? Yeah, it feels real good. Oh, really? Could be a big one, buddy? Ooh, yep. Yeah, that's a nice Could fish. Could be a big female, yep. guys. All right. Ooh, nice fish, go. Matt. Right. Nice fish, buddy. That's what you come to the Bay of Green Bay for and the Fox River is to catch walleyes like that. Hey, Matt, was that a pretty good hit? It was a great hit. Actually, hit first one I had it hit real hard. Yeah, because they've just been picking them up so light, so you felt like a thunk? Yeah, I had to switch over to that jig you guys were using. What's it, it was, called uh, again, Brett? The Pendu. No, that Pendu jig works, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can see I was catching all those fish and you guys switched over, <laughs> you know? I've had a real slow time here so far. You know, folks, the Fox River is clearer than normal, and I use a really good line here as leader material. Seaguar invented fluorocarbon back in the 70s, and this is their new gold label. And believe it or not, this is 12-pound test, and it actually feels more like 4-pound test, but it's called Seaguar gold label and Brett Jolly the fish really can't see this can they and you get great strength yeah absolutely John your fluorocarbon has the same reflective quality as water so it's basically invisible and when we're dealing with clear water like this being you know the, the ultimate in finesse is having thin fluorocarbon so that's it's definitely making a difference <laughs> well you were right Jolly wait till afternoon and then start using the artificials 
And uh, you can see where he hit that bait in the front, you know, and then got it in the, in the mouth too, or in the bottom area there. But we're releasing all the fish anyway. But yeah, let's start using some plastics and some blade baits. Hey, I put a jerk minnow on because I was catching so many fish. I wanted to see if your theory would work to, this is a nice fish here. Grab that net, you guys. Nice oh, walleye, huh, Joe? Off. Ooh, he just kind of came off too. But uh, yeah, I switched uh, uh, because the water got up to 38 degrees and that's what Jolly said and uh, it worked. Look at that. That's a real pretty walleye right there, isn't it, Brett? You betcha. Now that's a female? That looks like a female. It's got yeah. the fat belly. But really, so seriously, when the water warms up to 38 or above, you can start using the plastics a little yep, bit. Yep, that, that seems to be the, the benchmark for when you switch over to the artificials. Yeah, that's a nice fish. Well, let's see here. Another one on the jerk minnow. And that's that Kalen's jerk minnow that I love. But Jolly, I like that kind of blue and silver color in the river too, you know? Yeah, that's you a like great, it too? great color for the river and the bay. The skies Brett Jolly guides the Bay of Green Bay on a daily basis. For more information, give Brett a call. That phone number is 715-581-5678. 581-5678. Oh, Pete, I'm getting too old for this. So, John, you haven't heard of Brian's Custom Steps? Oh, Pete, those are awesome. How can I get a set? Yeah, I love these big no-slip platforms, and they're made right here in Wisconsin. For more information on Brian's Custom Steps, call 920-315-0333. From the kennel to the coop, Fleet Farm has everything you need to keep your animals happy and healthy. Whether you're getting them through the winter, mastering those retrieval skills, or wondering who takes care of who, there's a reason people say, if Fleet Farm doesn't have it, I don't need it. Because we have it all. Fleet Farm, proudly serving the Midwest since 1955. Hey, Brett Jolly, I got to thank you, buddy. You pulled it out. We needed a show. We got to edit it tomorrow for Saturday. You did it. Yeah, you know, we had some tough conditions, but ooh, this is a nice one. Oh, look at that. To end our show, Brett Jolly, that is a beauty. Ooh, nice job. On the pen do. Yep, on that, that, that jig, <laughs> you like it, don't you? It's, it's working. I mean, seriously, it, maybe it's just that little bit of action that you're getting that does it, but uh, we caught a lot of beautiful walleyes today, sure buddy, did. and uh, I got to thank you, you know. It, it was a tough day yesterday and a fun day today. Absolutely. A lot right? of nice fish. Beautiful. <laughs> And folks, that is our show for today. Please join us next week. I don't know where we're going to fish yet. We'll find a place somewhere. Until then, I'm John Gillespie, hoping to see you enjoying John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Hey, 